So I recently came across a video of Andrew Huberman in which he explains his morning routine for optimal health and optimal productivity. So my current morning routine looks like this. I wake up at 6 am, I have chai right after, I go on a walk, play with my dogs, I come home, I have my oats if I'm in the mood, I work out, then I come home and eat my post-workout meal. So this routine is quite similar to what Andrew Huberman does but I just needed a few small tweaks to make it as optimal as possible. So Usually my alarm ke pehle ut jata I don't even remember the last time I kabhi alarm use kiya tha. Now for me, I tend to wake up sometime around 6 a.m., 6.30, sometimes as late as 7 a.m. I don't typically sleep much later than 7 a.m. And there are many benefits to waking up early. Uh, like there are no interruptions. Studies show that you are less likely to develop mental health problems. Also waking up early means that you go to bed early, which aligns with your body that's with circadian rhythm. Yeah, that hydration is essential for mental performance. And but I don't know, this starting from the beginning. I don't have the habit of drinking water in the morning. And I don't know, it's just like my body repels anything that I give it like within the first 15-20 minutes of waking up. So I don't have to drink water in the morning. Yeah, that's what I do. I don't have to drink water in the morning. So waking up early was the easier part for me and one thing that was difficult to do during this like morning routine is that I have to drink tea in the morning and Andrew Huberman explains that you shouldn't have any form of caffeine 90 to 120 minutes after waking up. I purposely delay my caffeine intake to 90 minutes to 120 minutes after I wake up. So I think that is going to be difficult because one of my instincts after just after waking up and brushing my teeth is to make tea and to utilize those 90 minutes I'm going to turn off my phone on silent and so best of all advantage is that you have um, less interruptions you have you don't have messages you don't have any emails to get, get back to and for those 90 minutes I usually usually uh, I usually like to learn something, be it about editing, be it about podcast. Uh, I watch Jordan Peterson a lot in the mornings, be it about self-improvement videos. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to read a book for the first half, which I will show you. And for the second half, I'll probably watch some podcast. And I think ki an hour would be up and tabi I'll make my coffee. So see you then. So the time is 7.40 and it has roughly been around 90 minutes and for the first half I read a book called The Way of the Superior Man and uh, I just highly highly recommend that book. I really love that book. I And for the latter half I watched a couple of podcasts and found music to use in this video. So the next thing that Andrew Huberman does and recommends is uh, 10 to 30 minutes of natural viewing sunlight. Uh, 10 minutes or 30 minutes actually depends on which part of the world you are in. Getting sunlight in your eyes first thing in the morning is absolutely vital to mental and physical health. So he does that and forward integrated movement which is basically walking. Is to get into forward ambulation which is just nerd speak for taking a walk. And I'm going to go on a walk on the road for roughly like 15-20 minutes because after that, I will be able to go to the gym time. So I'm going to go to the gym at 7.45 and I'm going to go on a quick walk and I'm going to go on a quick walk. So I'm going to go on a quick walk. So I'm going to go on a quick walk. And yeah, see you guys then. Alright, so it's been around like roughly a month after all of those the first footage of the first thing. And I just completed my uh, morning walk. Usually it is like 15-20 minutes and in this I covered 3,300 steps. And recently I have been walking, my walking has increased a lot. I have been walking like somewhere upwards of 20,000, 25,000, even on some days, 30,000 steps. So anyways, right now I don't have so much time. I have to like get to the gym and I think I'll train like something I have a full day today so yeah let's see
way I got temptations all around me But I'ma stay focused I got my people depending on me I cannot blow this They see me coming, I'm taking their place Put them on notice Trying to keep balance Whole lot of weight up on my shoulders I got temptations all around me But I'ma stay focused I got my people depending on me I cannot blow this They see me coming, I'm taking their place Alright, so I just finished my workout and uh, what I ate last meal was at around 8 or 9 p.m. Tha. and my post-workout meal is usually uh, one, and a half, one and a half scoop of uh, protein, 30 grams of oats, I put 400 ml milk, thoda sa cinnamon and usually either strawberries or bananas. So in this, I have 563 calories and I get roughly about like 52 grams of protein. Alright, so it has been 30 days that I have been following Andrew Huberman's routine and I just wanted to discuss ki konsi konsi cheeze mujhe difficult lagi, konsi konsi cheeze easy lagi and mujhe kya kya benefits dekhne mile. So I just have it written down. So waking up early, like I mentioned pehle bhi, waking up early was like the easier part of me. But I uh, have routine chalu kiya tha, I think it was like mid-November and today is 23rd of December. And dheere dheere I noticed ki, so the temperature has dropped a bit down and weather thoda zyada acha ho gaya tha. So I just noticed ki mera jo wake up time tha, which was naturally 5.45, 6, 6.15, wo dheere dheere has shifted to like 7, 7.30, which is like quite natural because the sun rises up a bit late. And that was the first thing that I noticed. And I noticed ki, uh, because of the deep work, because I get around like 60, 80 minutes by myself without the phone. I have noticed that I am a lot more creative. Mujhe creative ideas kafi zada achhe se aate and I'm, I can just get a lot more done in terms of uh, YouTube, in terms of workout, in terms of prepping my meals, prep, uh, planning my day. Because uh, I get to do all of that before my office hours. And also caffeine intake. Caffeine intake. Uh, it was like quite difficult. I'm not going to lie. Koi koi din pe I had my coffee before those uh, 60 to 90 minutes and I got in more steps because of my morning walk I got in more steps because uh, I was like I have to do this video I was actually on like 20 to 25 I think I said this previously in the video I got around like 20 to 25,000 on some days it was as high as 30,000 steps per day and regarding my workouts uh, I suggest ki aap bhi, you know start training early in the morning like early can be like relative to you but start training in the mornings because you have one less thing to worry about and also there is like Andrew Huberman explains that there is something called adenosine so, adenosine kya hota hai ki is whenever you wake up aapke body mein hota adenosine and adenosine, adenosine jab tak wear out nahi ho jata tab tak you will feel sleepy you will feel groggy aapko afternoon crash hoga and one of the best ways to get rid of that adenosine is working out so working out in the morning would help you prevent that uh, you know afternoon crash jo hota hai wo. So my post-workout meal, which I have shown you, was my strawberry milkshake, strawberry vein milkshake. And that actually helps me, you know, be in a deficit. Because whenever you are in a deficit, so then, you know, try to delay your first meal as much as possible. And yeah, that would just help me get on a deficit. Anyway, so that was 30 days of Andrew Huberman's morning routine. I will leave all the videos in the description below. And there are quite a few things, you know, all of those are scientifically backed. So I just highly, highly recommend you Try them out and you will see those benefits. So video अच्छी लगी तो फिर like कर दो, subscribe कर दो and बहुत ज़्यादा अच्छी लगी तो फिर एक friend के साथ share